Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Our Lord is good. The Bible says, for his mercy and forever. Wherever you are, wherever you are joining me from, wherever you are logging from this very day, can we all lift up our hand and let's appreciate our Lord, our God. Let's bless his holy name. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him praise. Let's worship him for another wonderful time in his presence. Let's bless his holy name. Let's say thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life. Thank you, Jesus, for our family, for our home, for our marriage, for our business, for our career. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We worship your holy name. Can we all lift up our hand and appreciate him as you come online this very day for another communal service? I want you to lift up your hand and let's worship him. Let's adore him. Let's give him all the praise, all the honor, all adoration. I want you to lift up your mouth. I want you to open your mouth, lift up your hand, and say, Father, for the gift of life, thank you, Jesus, for my home, for my marriage, for my business, for my career. Lord, we give you praise. We give you a rise in your glory. Do that which only you can do in our life. Do that which only you can do in our home. Stretch forth your hand upon us, your hand of mercy, your hand of healing, your hand of favor. Father, stretch it forth upon our upon each and every one of us. Let your hand of healing, let it come upon us, let it rest upon us this very day in the name of Jesus. And at the end of today, all glory, all honor, all adoration to your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Once again, I welcome every one of us who are online. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. My name is Orelua Ariola, the lead pastor of this online prayer ministry, and this is Spring Eagles Network. So sorry for coming late this very day. We are having some technical issue from this end. Amen. But thank God we are back. Today, if you are joining us for the very first time, by the grace of God, every Friday we come online for communal service. Every time, every Friday we come online for communal service. Every Friday, 12 noon Nigeria time, we come online for communal service. Amen. Communal for divine healing. Communal for preservation of life. Amen. We come online to cry unto the living God that He should preserve our life. He should preserve the life of our love one praise the lord and i know as you join us today the power in the blood of jesus the mystery in the blood of jesus shall be revealed shall be made known in the name of jesus through the blood of jesus the lord will preserve your life through the blood of jesus the lord will preserve your home through the blood of jesus the lord will preserve everything that concerns you today in the name of jesus praise the lord once again, I welcome every one of us. Again, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. Today, by the grace of God, we are praying, we are taking communion, and we are taking some prayer on, my life shall not be wasted. Can you repeat it? Say, my life shall not be wasted. Praise the Lord. My life shall not be wasted. Can you repeat it, my brother? I want you to say with all confidence. Say, my life shall not be wasted. Can you decree one more time? Say, my life shall not be wasted. Can you decree one more time? Say, my life shall not be wasted. Can you repeat it two more times? Say, my life shall not be wasted. My life shall not be wasted. I declare, I declare, your life will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Your life will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Your life will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. The life of your loved one, the life of your husband, the life of your wife, the life of your children, your life will not be wasted. Your home will not be wasted. The life of your children will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus. The life of your husband, your wife, I decree, I declare, it shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So today, we are taking... We are taking prayer uh, coming on, on what I titled, My life shall not be wasted. First Kings... 21, 13 to 16. First Kings 21, 13 to 16. Praise the Lord. First Kings 
21, 13 to 16. Praise the Lord. First Kings 21, 13 to 16. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Isaiah 21, verse 2. Isaiah 21, verse 2. Jeremiah 51, 56. Jeremiah 51, 56. Jeremiah 51, 56. And Nahum 2, verse 2. Nahum 2, verse 2. I take those scriptures again. 1 Kings 21, 13 to 16. 1 Kings 21, 13 to 16. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Isaiah 21, verse 2. Isaiah 21, verse 2. Jeremiah 51, 56. Jeremiah 51, 56. And Nahum 2, verse 2. Nahum 2, verse 2. Here, Mr. Ayam, all this scripture, when we go through all this scripture, you will see the activities of the wasters. You will see the Bible talking about the wasters. Amen. And you will see their activity. You will see their work. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Every activities of the wasters in your life, every activities of the waster in your home, every activities of the waster in your marriage, every activities of the wasters in everything that concerns you, your business, your career, may God put an end to it in the name of Jesus. May God put an end to it. 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 To every activities of the wasters, may God put an end to it in the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. I want you to say like, amen. I decree, I declare, to every activities of the wasters in your life, in your home, in your marriage, in your business, in your career, may God put an end to it in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So we are looking at the activities of the wasters from the Bible. First Kings 21, 13 to 16. You see the story of three, three or four people there. Number one, the Bible talk about King Ahab. Amen. The Bible talk about King Ahab. The Bible talk about his wife. Um, his wife, uh, Jezebel. The Bible talk about a man, a poor man, who have a vineyard beside the palace. And the Bible talk about the children of the Belial. Praise the Lord. The king, the summary of this first king, 21, 13 to 16, is the story of a poor man. The only thing, the only inheritance he has is the landed property that has been given down from lineage, from father to son, father to son. So it was his time to inherit this land. And the land now, the land is fertile and close to the palace. And the king one day saw this fertile land and asked him to sell it for him. And this guy said, no, that this land is not my own, not even my father's land. It was inheritance being passed from generation to generation. How will it be that it will not be my own turn that I will not go and sell our inheritance, the inheritance of my father's house that have been passed from generation to generation? And the king was sad, and he went to his house. On getting to the house, the wife saw that he was sad, and he asked Jezebel, that my husband was sad, and he said, I saw a landed property beside us here, and I love it. And I asked him to sell it for me, and he refused to sell. And the king said, is that why you are sad? The queen said, is that why you are sad? Husband, don't worry, I will get it for you. If he refused to sell, I will get it for you. So the king, the queen, the king wife, now gathers some people, and the Bible called them the children of the Belial, to come and lie, witness against Naboth. And they came before the elders, before the king, and they lied against this poor man because they had been bribed. And as a result of that, Naboth, the poor guy, was killed because of false witness. And immediately was killed the landed property that the king asked him to sell, that he refused to sell. Automatic, the king just took over it. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma'am. From this story you see, because of his inheritance, because of his property, his life was wasted by the king, by the queen. 
his life was wasted because of something that you own maybe your marriage your business your career anyone that plan to waste your life in order to inherit to take that thing from you may god waste them in the name of jesus may god waste them in the name of jesus you know you had that prayer i didn't say that god should stop them no anyone that that is planning to waste your life to waste your marriage to waste your business to waste your career because of something valuable to you i pray and you can say louder amen that power that entity that is planning to waste your life may god waste them in the name of jesus may god waste them in the name of jesus now but his life was wasted your life will not be wasted because of his landed property his life was wasted only god know how many how many people on daily basis the wicked one are killed every day only god know how many people are in the jail inside jail inside prison houses because some people because somebody paid pay for their life to be wasted only god know how many people are in jail in prison today because some people brought in cook a false witness against them nobody was killed because some people were paid to testify against him just because of his landed property anyone hired to testify against you in order to waste your life may god disgrace them in the name of jesus may god disgrace them 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 I decree, I declare, because of your property, because of your wife, because of your husband, because of your marriage, because of your children, because of that position, your life will not be wasted. 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 Nobody's life was wasted because of his inheritance, his property. Because of your inheritance, because of your property, your life will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is going about with false test testimony with force with force with force allegation anyone that have been bribed anyone that have been paid to testify against you to testify against your husband to testify against your wife to testify against the work of your hand anyone going about using false 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 testimony false false word amen to pull you down to stop your progress May God judge them in the name of Jesus. May God judge them. 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 Such people, I decree, I declare. May God judge them in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Talk about the wasters for destruction. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Tell us that the assignment of the wasters is to destroy. Wasters. The assignment is to destroy. Say, I've created the wasters for destruction. Any instrument of destruction, any wasters that have been programmed, that is stationed in your life, around you, in your home, in your marriage, in that business, in that premises, to waste, to destroy your labor, to waste your investment, may God arrest them. 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 Anyone going about, anyone going about with instrument of destruction, aiming to destroy you, to destroy your home, your marriage, your business, your career. I decree, I declare, before they carry out the assignment, may God stop them. May God disgrace them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 21, verse 2. Isaiah 21, verse 2. Tell us another assignment of the waster. In Isaiah 21, verse 2, say, The waster that make waste. The make wasters that, make, that do all. They make waste. The assignment is to waste. They waste life. They waste marriage. They waste business. They waste career. When they see good things, they are not happy with that good thing. The assignment, everything in their mind is to waste. You have you, well, have you, have you, if you have come across arm robber, you understand this thing. You you see the, the word in their mouth, the common language of arm robbers is let's waste them. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Anyone with evil agenda, anyone with satanic mind to waste you, to waste the life of your children. 
I declare, I declare, may God abort their plan in the name of Jesus. Those who introduce young, young children to illegal substances like drug, like leather, those who introduce small, small children, the teenagers, into drug, they are agents of wasters. They want to waste their tomorrow. They want to waste their life. May God deliver all our children from activities of the wasters in the name of Jesus. Sometimes the enemy, the wasters, don't just come physically. They come in through manipulation. They come in through sub through subdue way. They come in through 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 in a way that you will not even know the agenda. But here, Miss Ayama, the agenda is to just waste anything. They can waste life. They can waste marriage. They can waste business. They can waste investment. Anything good. The agenda is they just want to waste. I pray for you as you are saying amen. Your life will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Your home will not be wasted. Your children will not be wasted. The destiny of your children, the destiny of their career will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 51 verse 56. Jeremiah 51 verse 56. Jeremiah 51 verse 56. He said, the wasters that come upon to waste. Do you see again? The wasters that come upon to waste. What is the meaning? When the wasters come upon anything, the purpose, the agenda is to waste. The wasters, when they come upon anything, they don't live until they waste. When they come into a marriage, they don't leave that marriage until they waste that marriage. When they enter into any business, any organization, they don't leave until they waste that organization. Hear me, sir. Hear me, ma. Anyone in your life, anyone in the life of your husband, anyone in the life of your wife, anyone in your business, anyone that you employ, that you are paying for, unknown to you that carry the grace of a wasters to waste. Isaiah 51, verse 56, he said, the waster that come upon to waste. So that means wherever they enter, Whatever they sit, wherever they appear, they don't live until they waste. Anyone without mandate, anyone without grace, anyone without purpose in your life, in your marriage, in your work, in your business premises, to waste your time, to waste your money, to waste your resources, may God arrest them in the name of Jesus. May they be arrested. 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 They be arrested. In the name of Jesus. Your life will not be wasted. Your marriage will not be wasted. Your business will not be wasted. Your health will not be wasted. Sometimes they come in, they program sickness. Sometimes they program sickness into the life of a man. And what is the agenda of that sickness? To waste the life of that man. But before they waste the life of that man, they will waste his time, they will waste his energy, they will waste his resources, they will waste his money. From one medication to another, from one hospital to another, from one uh, uh, clinical test to another, just to waste his time, just to waste his money, just to waste his resources. Any sickness, any infirmity in your body, in the body of your loved one, program to waste your time, to waste your money, to waste your resources. By the hand of the Almighty God, let the Lord God abort it in the name of Jesus. Let that sickness be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Let it be terminated. Nahum 2, verse 2. Nahum 2, verse 2. He said, the wasters that mark. The mark of the wasters is for what? Is to waste and to destroy. Ma Ma Nahum 2, verse 2. The wasters that destroy. The wasters that make waste. But before they do this, they put a mark. The mark of wasters. And the assignment of that mark is wastage. 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 Every mark of destroyers, every mark of wasters upon you, every mark of wasters upon your business, every mark of wasters upon your marriage, every mark of wasters upon your health, every mark of wasters upon your children, every mark of wasters upon your business by the blood of Jesus. Let it be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Let it be cancelled. 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 That mark of wasters upon you by the blood of Jesus. Every cancel it in the name of Jesus. The Lord cancel it. 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 That mark of the wasters upon your body. Today by the blood of Jesus. The Lord cancel it in the name of Jesus. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. 
Cain wasted the life of his brother. Cain wasted, killed Abel, his brother. The same father, the same mother. The same father, the same mother. So your life will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. What about Samson? Samson's life was wasted by the woman. A woman who was paid to just know the source of his power. That woman was just paid how much? And Samson put his love, gave his love to this woman. All his love without reservation. Samson loved this woman so much. But the woman, just because of some, 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 some little changes, some little dollar, he, gave, he, he wasted the life of Samson. Anyone that surrounds you, anyone that is close to you, anyone that is close to you will not be manipulated against your life in the name of Jesus. They know that that woman, that Samson loved that woman, and through that woman, they enter into the life of Samson. And his life, Samson's life was wasted. Through your husband, through your wife, through your children, through your parents, your life will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Some people through their mother, their life was wasted. Some people through their courtly father, their life was wasted. Some people through their, their activity, the error of their children, their life was wasted. Is it not abominable? Abomination. You hear these days, children killing their mother for money ritual. Children. In those days, what we used to hear is parents killing maybe one of their children for money ritual. In those days. But these days, you see children, not even adults, not even grown up. Children, 13 years old, 14 years old, 15 years old, they are not up to 20. They want to do money ritual. And you see them killing their mother. Cain wasted the life of his brother. The wife. The, the, the proposed wife of Samson wasted the life of uh, Samson. So, there's no barrier that this one is my family, that this one is my mother, that this one is my father, that this one is my husband, that this one is my wife, that this one is my, my children. Hear me, sir. Hear me. No, you only need the preservation of God. May your family member not be manipulated to take your life in the name of Jesus. I therefore decree and declare in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, your life, your life will not be wasted by your relative in the name of Jesus. From people that surround you, the people that you call friend, the people that you lie upon, they will not waste your life in the name of Jesus. A man was a waster. He dug a well, a gallow, he prepared a gallow to, to, to waste a man and waste the Jews. Anyone with instrument of wasters, anyone secretly preparing, programming to waste your life, the Lord will expose and abort them in the name of Jesus. What about Saul? King Saul was a dangerous waster. Do you hear what I said? I didn't say Saul was a waster. Saul was a chronic waster. He was looking for the life of David. He, was, he wanted to waste the life of David. So anywhere you have information that David ran to, he will just march there and kill everyone there. Only God knows how many people uh, Saul killed because of the life of one man. Only God knows how many lives that Saul killed because of the life of David. Saul was a chronic and a dangerous waster. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. Anyone with the mandate to waste the life of people, ah, may God deliver you from their hand in the name of Jesus. You will not fall to that trap. 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 In the name of Jesus. Herodian, King Herod, in the days when Jesus Christ was born. The Bible said, when he learned that Jesus Christ was born, the man that would talk over the seed, unknown to him, that they are not talking about the seed of just a nation. They are talking about the whole world. He thought the, uh, the prophecy has to be fulfilled. Oh, how can they give back to that child? He told, the, he told the, the wise men, when you find the place, come, come and tell me. But the angels appear unto those wise men and said, don't go because he planned to kill the son, the child. And after some days, after some weeks, after some months, and those people did not return, what happened? He released his, his, his wasting instrument in town. And he said, begin to kill in Jerusalem. Begin to kill in Judah. Begin to kill 
between the range of that time that they told him that the child was born. He said, begin. That was why in those days, Jesus Christ did not have age mates. They have it in female, but as a man. No. Why? Because when he was small, all his age mates, those born of his age back, were all slaughtered. What about Moses? The same thing. Only God knew how many life of children were slaughtered. Wasters. I declare, I declare, the life of your children will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Anyone on assignment to waste the life of your children, may God double cross them, may God disgrace them, may God arrest them, may God arrest them. Every instrument of waste program prepare against your life, against the life of our children, against the life of our loved ones. Let it be aborted in the name of Jesus. What about the book of Job? The book of Job said, each time Satan came, just because of the life of Job, 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 because he just want Job to deny God. He wasted the life of Job's children. He wasted the life of those who are so around the children. He wasted those who are working for Job. Only God knows the numbers. The Bible says Job have a lot of workers, but only three survive. Only three. One domestic staff, one from the farm, one from the field. Only three staff. Out of only God knows how many thousands. Where you work, where you work, every agent of wasters that is aiming to waste the life of people in that office, in that area, in the name of Jesus, may God deliver you in the name of Jesus. May God deliver you in that business. Your life will not be wasted in that environment. Your life will not be wasted in that marriage. Your life will not be wasted in that home. Your life will not be wasted. Can you just imagine those who are working as a domestic star for Job? Because they are working in Job's house, their life was wasted. Where you work, in that office, those of you who are domestic staff, where you work, your life will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Your life will not be wasted. 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 The life of our loved one will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Let's look at another one before we pray. What about in the, in the, in the days of Jonah? God asked Jonah, to go to Nineveh, but he turned to another place. He used his own money to pay for transport fare and inside, inside the ship because of Jonah, the Jonah. There was a storm. Those people, they are, they are, they are business people. They are goods. They are, they are wares that they brought. They brought with their money from one location, take it to another location to go and sell and make profit. The Bible said they empty everything to the sea just for their life to be preserved. At the end of the day, Jonah now came up and said, you know what? It's not because of the Oguz, it's because of me. Ah, after their resources, after their business have been thrown away, we have been wasted. Can you imagine that those people borrow money from bank? Can you imagine? Assuming that those people, they borrow the money from bank with a calculation that we go and uh, buy the goods, we bring it, we say we make huge, huge profit. And somebody, a waster, now enter into their life. I pray for every business woman, business woman. Those of you who are business people in the house, I pray for you. The wasters will not enter into your life in the name of Jesus. The waster will not enter into your business in the name of Jesus. The waster will not enter into your marriage in the name of Jesus. Anyone that you pay their salary, anyone that you will pay their salary, anyone that you will help, but that their, that their presence carry the grace of wasters. Anywhere they enter, problem must happen. You don't know. Oh, there are people like that. Anywhere they, are, they enter, there must be problem. Anywhere they enter, there must, be, there, must be, there must be crisis. Anywhere they are, there must be accident. But the irony of it is this. Their life is always preserved. That problem, that accident will happen because of them, but their life will be preserved. Their life will be preserved. Just like Jonah. Jonah entered into that boat. Goose were lost, but his own life was preserved. Anyone in your life that carry the grace of wasters, may God separate you and them in the name of Jesus. May God separate you and them in the name of Jesus. May God separate you and them in the name of Jesus. Any Jonah in your life, any Jonah around you, I decree, I declare, before they waste your life, 
before they waste your resources, before they waste your time, before they waste your energy. May God expose them and separate you and them in the name of Jesus. Can you lift up your hand? Say in the name of Jesus, my life shall not be wasted. My time shall not be wasted. My money shall not be wasted. My resources shall not be wasted. My marriage shall not be wasted. My children shall not be wasted. My wife shall not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, can you decree and declare? Say my life will not be wasted. My life will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, my life will not be wasted. My resources shall not be wasted. My business shall not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, can you decree and declare? Say my life will not be wasted. It will not be wasted. It will not be wasted. It will not be wasted. My life will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, enemy will not waste my life. They will not waste my life. They will not waste my life. They will not waste my head. They will not waste my money. They will not waste my life. The life of my children, the life of my loved ones, the, li the life of my wife, the life of my children, the life of your husband, the life of every member of this ministry will not be wasted. It 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 will not be wasted. Can you declare and declare? Say my life will not be wasted. It will not be wasted. The life of my children, the life of my wife, the life of my loved one, by the blood of Jesus will not be wasted. It 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 will not be wasted. Can you declare and declare? Say my life will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus. My life will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus. My life will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare? Can you pray that prayer for yourself? Say my life will not be wasted. It 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 will not be wasted. Declare and declare. Pray prayer for yourself. My life will not be wasted. Enemy will not waste my life. They 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 will not waste my life. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I'm going to take that prayer again before we take the next prayer. Naboth's life was wasted because of his inheritance. The land belonged to him. And somebody said, give it to me. Let me pay for it. And he said, no. It's our inheritance. I cannot, I cannot sell it. It's not done. And because of that, his wife pay some people, bribe some people to come and lie against him. At the moment they lied against him, what happened? His life was wasted. His life was wasted. Because of his inheritance. Yeah, me, sir, yeah, me, man. Day by day, people's lives are being wasted because of what rightly belongs to them. Many people run mad today. The moment they enter into that office and sit on their seat, because the seat has been laced with satanic uh, instrument to waste. Why? Because somebody wants to occupy that position. Contractors. <laughs> Go and ask them. Many people, many people have accidents. The day they say that you come and bid for the contract, on their way, you will just be seeing accidents. Why? Because some people have known that, oh, if this one should come, this one may have upper hand. So let me waste their life. Let me waste. Can you lift up your hand? I want you to declare and declare. So, Lord, my God, my life, the life of my husband, the life of my wife, the life of my children will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, now can we begin to declare and declare? Say, my life will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, the life of my loved one, the life of my children will not be wasted. It 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 will not be wasted. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, every instrument of wasters, every instrument of wasters, prepare against my life. Say, I set you on fire. In the name of Jesus, I set you on fire. Every instrument of wasters, anything that the waster want to use to waste my life, I set it on fire. 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 Every instrument of wasters, prepare against my life. I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus, I set it on fire. I set it on fire. Can you begin to decree and declare? Every instrument of wasters, say I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus, I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus, I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus, I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus, every instrument of wasters, I set it on fire. I set it on fire. 
I set it on fire. I set it on fire. I set it on fire. I set it on fire. I set it on fire. Can you decree and declare? Set it on fire. Every instrument of wasters. Say, I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Every instrument of wasters in the name of Jesus. I set it on fire. 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 Can you set it on fire? Set it on fire. Instrument of wasters. Say, I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Every instrument of wasters prepare against my life. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare every instrument of wasters. Every instrument of wasters. Whatever the wasters have prepared for you, say, I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Now set it on fire. Begin to set it on fire. Instrument of warfare. Instrument of wasters. I set it on fire. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say every cause, every spell, every declaration, every incantation of the wasters over my life, over my marriage, be canceled, be aborted, be canceled, be aborted. In the name of Jesus, can you begin to declare and declare? Every cause, every spell, every declaration, every incantation of the wasters over my head, over my life, over my marriage, over my children. Say in the name of Jesus. I can hear you. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. And this is I have bought it. I have bought it. I have bought it. I cancel 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 it. Can you declare and declare? Instrument, every course, every spell, every declaration, every incantation that the enemy have prepared to waste my life, to waste my marriage. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, every household wasters. I can't hear you, man. Say, every household wasters, every environmental wasters, every business wasters, every career wasters. Can we take it again? Every household wasters, every church old wasters, every environmental wasters, every business wasters, career wasters, health wasters. Say in the name of Jesus, I terminate your assignment. In the name of Jesus, your assignment over my life, I terminate it. I terminate it. I terminate it. Household wasters, I terminate your assignment. In the name of Jesus, I terminate your assignment. In the name of Jesus, I terminate your assignment. In the name of Jesus, I terminate your assignment. In the name of Jesus, can you decree and declare? Household wasters, say I terminate your assignment. Enough is enough. I terminate your assignment. Enough is enough. I terminate your assignment in the name of Jesus. I terminate your assignment in the name of Jesus. I terminate your assignment in the name of Jesus. I terminate your assignment in the name of Jesus. Can you terminate the assignment? Household wickedness. Household wasters. Wasters in your environment. Say in the name of Jesus. I terminate your assignment over my life, over my marriage, over my business, over my career. I terminate it. Your assignment, 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 I terminate it. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, they are terminated. Say every door, every door of the wasters, open in my life. Their entrance to our life, their entrance to our business. Their entrance to our career. Whatever is giving them access to waste our resources, to waste our time, to waste our health, that's the next prayer. Say in the name of Jesus, say every door of the wasters into my life, every access of the wasters into my marriage, say by the blood of Jesus, I shut you, I close you, I shut you, I close you, 
I shut you. I close you. Can you begin to shut and close them? In the name of Jesus. Say, I shut you. I close you. In the name of Jesus. Decree and declare. Every doors to the wasters in my life. Every doors to the wasters in my marriage. Every doors to the wasters in my business. I terminate it. I close it. I terminate it. I close it. I terminate it. I close it. The doors to the wasters in my life. The doors to the wasters in my home. The doors to the wasters in my business, in my career. Every door that open to the wasters in my business. Every door that open to the wasters in my environment. I terminate you. I close you. I shut you. I close you. I shut you. I close you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say concerning my head. Every one of you with health issue. Can you just look at the money you spend on medication every month, every year? On medication. That's an access to wasters. That's an access to wasters. Let's just waste his money. And they just put one sickness. Say in the name of Jesus. Say my head. Every door to the wasters concerning my head. Say you that door of health issue. I close you in the name of Jesus. Now put your hand on your chest. Say from today, my earth will not waste my time, will not waste my money, will not waste my resources. In the name of Jesus, my earth, my body, my earth, you will not waste my time, you will not waste my money. In the name of Jesus, can you declare and declare? Say my earth will not waste my money. In the name of Jesus, my earth, the earth of my wife, the earth of my children, you will not waste my time. You will not waste my money. You will not waste my energy. You will not waste my resources. In the name of Jesus. Can you declare and declare? Declare and declare. Say in the name of Jesus.